guys welcome back to my channel it's shesley so today i wanted to give you guys just five simple tips um for when you guys go out to clinicals as you know you are going to be a clinical or a rad tech student you have to go to clinicals to do hands-on training of course so tip number one you need to remember the main thing you need to remember is that when you go to clinicals whatever site you go at every single site this is a job interview you need to remember that they're watching your every move they're seeing how you work what you do whatever so if you're gonna be lazy at your clinicals do you really think that they're gonna hire you once you're done with school and you're looking for a job no and if you talk too much you're annoying them do you really think they're gonna hire you once you look like once you're done with school and you're looking for a job no 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 of course you want to be yourself but you need to be the best version of yourself that you can be of course don't forget that is the main most important rule out of all of this tip number two Remember to be helpful when it comes to exams. You wanna be helpful when it's cleaning after um, doing an exam or after even a tech just does an exam. Just go ahead and wipe down stuff, clean up. Um, before you leave, take about 30 minutes to like empty the linen, um, whatever you can. Also remember, like as in being helpful, take initiative, grab some exams and do them on your own or even ask, of course ask, but make sure that they're watching you. But of course, just make sure that you are taking an initi initiative because they love to see that. They want to see you being helpful. They want to see that you want to do the work. They want to they want to see that you know how to do it, of course. Tip number three, stay off your phone. Okay, I don't know. Um, how many times our teachers told us stay off your phone stay off your phone um, at my in my school they did clinical evaluations on us and I think honestly maybe every school does this so you fill it out and like the well the tech fills it out for you and you give it to your teacher and you do not want to get that reputation that you're always on your phone student doesn't do nothing student just stays on phone girl that is not good at all i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie um i love being on my phone when i was at my clinics especially if i saw other people doing it i'm like heck yeah heck yeah i'm gonna be on my phone but it's it's really not a good look i'm not saying you can never be on your phone i'm not saying that at all i'm just saying don't be slumped over in a chair like i remember there was a student from a different school just always on her phone like Like, do you really want that reputation? No. And this literally goes back to tip number tip number one is that you're making an impression if they hire you or if you if you apply and you think that they're gonna hire you and all they remember is that you were on your phone, girl, you're not getting that job. Okay, you're not getting it. So just remember, try not to be on your phone as much. Um, tip number four, I would say to bring your own lunch, okay? As a student, girl, when you go to these clinical sites, especially like the hospitals, they be having them cafeterias, they have the vending machines, whatever. Honey, that was my thing. That was my thing was to eat out and look how big I got, okay? I gained about 30 pounds in the program. You don't want to be like me. <laughs> okay and it's honestly not even just about like weight gain but it's also like financially um as a student you're not going to be working full-time well you shouldn't be working full-time so you really don't want it to like ruin your bank when you're out here going to eat every like going out to eat at um your clinical sites every day just make sure you bring your own lunch and tip number five um so this is going to be the last tip um, basically, you want to make connections with people. You want to make connections with the rad tech. You want to make connections with the manager or the supervisor, the radiology supervisor, whoever you can. Um, I would say, honestly, get everybody, like, especially like the radiology department and the supervisor's phone number, put it all in a little notebook. Um, so by the time when you graduate, when you are applying to jobs, you want to like contact somebody. Um, be like, hey, I just applied or I saw an opening and um, I wanted to know if you would like help me out. 
so basically make connects with them also make connects with other students like um i like talking to the other students of a different class um from a different school i actually like talking to them they were pretty cool because you get to see how their program works you get tips from them um and you just make friends especially like you're gonna have to be working with these people in a few years hopefully and I know I said there was only five tips, but I came up with another one. Um, tip number six, bring your little handy dandy handbook. So the handbook has a list of all the positions that you're going to have to do. So it tells you your central ray. Oh my gosh, I haven't said that in so long. Wow. It tells you your central ray. It tells you literally everything that you need to do need to know for the x-ray exam. There might be an exam that you have never seen and... You don't want to be asking the tech, uh, oh, I don't remember how to do this, or I don't know how to do this. Even though it is okay to ask questions, that's perfectly fine, but you want to look like you know what you're doing, girl, okay? You want to know what you're doing. So just bring your handbook. I love having my handbook. Even as a tech, I'm going to have my handbook out with me all the time, okay? Um, but yeah, anyways, that was it, you guys. I know I said five tips in the beginning, but I had to do another one just in case, okay, if anybody forgot. Um, but yeah, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Support your girl, like, comment, like, do whatever you can to support me because I'm supporting you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.